axial and biaxial bending so uniaxial bending is all both are depend on eccentricity so how this eccentricity depend so uniaxial means a uh, eccentricity is with respect to one axis only is respect to one axis only in a biaxial the eccentricity with respect to both the axis x and y okay so uh, let's check the figure here is a uniaxial in the uniaxial you can see here is a force at x axis and is a y axis here is a x axis and your force it at x not at a center so this type of uh, eccentricity this type of load is called uniaxial bending so in this type of column uniaxial biaxial bending we can say axial axial force and bending moment we can see both at one time okay so here is x and same for the y but the load at somewhere here not on the x not on the y so when the force is not on the axis then we call biaxial bending okay so when this type of color we can see you can see here here it's your building and here is a column so at some point your force will be not at the center at this time okay at the corner at edge of the building your force is not always at the center of the column at that time we have to resist bending force on the column okay now we have to draw column interaction diagram column interaction diagram how this happen so when the eccentricity load column is subject to pu and mu okay force axis force and moment and for the every axis force we have a particular value of moment and then this type of cause of failure okay so in one thing we design a column for the resist a shear force only but for the every shear force we have a particular value of moment at that time your both means a shear and a moment is caused a failure okay and for this two condition we have a infinite combination of pu and m means we got a multiple combination for pu and n at, at some point we have got some safety for the shear force and moment means uh, you can see here is a combination of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 5 so this type of combination so at some point is i can say 3 and 4 is a safe 1 and 2 is a safe but 1 and 3 cause a failure okay and that time the particular value of mu for the given value of pu can be found only by trial and error by trial and error matter which is so complicated and most of boring so 
we have to more convenient especially for the routine design of construction curve so in the pu and mu combination pu and mu combination so we have one curve which is called a pm interaction curve shear force and bending moment interaction curve which is showing limiting value of shear force and bending moment so when we going to design a column we have one combination of pu and mu which is safe which is safe for the design column so this type of curve this type of curve is called pm interaction curve look at here you can see here is a pm interaction curve this is so by this shape i can say here is axial load only here bending only so you can see here is a graph here was is pu by fck b into d versus mu by fck b into d square so by this graph we can find out shear force and bending moment shear force and bending moment if your curve is at or the shear force graph means on the y axis means pu fck bd curve there is only axial load only but when the point is at mu upon fck bd curve then we have bending moment only okay so by this curve we have find here is a balance section and below the balance section we have a tension failure and above compression failure okay these are the called pm interaction curve okay have a short column subjected to uniaxial bending okay on the short column there is pu on the column is eccentricity e from the center line of the column then column is subjected to an axial load pu plus the bending moment equal to pu into e pu means shear force and e is eccentricity so pu is axial load and mu is equal to pu into e so how this happened here x axis y axis your load is here e, eccentricity e so moment is equal to force into distance so mu is equal to pu into e okay so load is axial load is axial but the column has a moment either due to gravity load or other loads so in this case it is that column is subjected to axial load pu and bending moment mu or the column eccentricity loaded with load pu at an eccentricity so this is a equation to find out eccentricity mu upon pu okay now we have some example so example read the example a column size 300 mm by 400 mm has effective length of 3. Point, 3.6 meter 3.6 meter is subjected to axial factor load 110 kN and factor moment 150 kN into meter about the major axis design the column using m25 concrete and fe415 steel and providing the steel on the two sides and on the four sides 
okay so in this example we have to design a column which is four side reinforcement and a two side reinforcement now we are going to design a column so here is a first page page number one so in the first page we have to write down solution means up first we need given data first is column size which is 300 mm by 400 mm column size is given effective length means le here is given the direct effective length 3.6 meter converted into mm so 3600 mm then after factor load factor load means pu is given pu is given 1100 kilo newton second is factor moment mu 150 kN into meter so converted into 1100 into 10 raised to 3 N and 150 into 10 raised to 6 N into M ok now the more thing is uh, FCK FCK is 25 newton per mm square and f5 415 newton per mm square okay these are the given data now on the page number two we have to find out column is short or longer so first we find out a column size by width is 300 mm in capital D is 400 mm and LE is 3600 mm. So we are going to find out effective length divided by depth ratio. So 3600 divided by 400. So it's 9. So 9 is less than 12. So here is a short column. Okay. So we have to design a short column. Now we have to find out there is a moment also and factor also. So we need eccentricity. We need eccentricity E. E is equal to mu upon pu moment divided by shear force so moment is 150 into 10 raised to 6 divided by shear force 110 into 10 raised to 3 so eccentricity is 136.36 mm here is eccentricity now this eccentricity is uh, on the column but we have to find out how much eccentricity is required so we have e minimum e minimum so 0 0.05 capital D so 0 0.05 into 400 so we use 20 so this eccentricity is required means e minimum if eccentricity is 20 mm if eccentricity is 20 mm then we have to design axial loaded column but here eccentricity is more than 20 mm is more than 20 mm so we have to design uni axial bending okay now page number three 
how assume effective cover we have to assume effective cover which is 60 mm means d dash we assume effective cover here okay and the, in the column we assume effective cover d dash so we starting a calculation so d dash by capital d is 60 by 400 so 0.15 okay pu by fck bd so pu is shear force 1100 into 10 raised to 3 divide by 25 into 300 into 400 is equal to 0.367 so mu fck bd square mu is 150 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 25 into 300 into 400 whole square so value is 0.125 so why we need this 3 value let's highlight this this all 3 value we have to highlight this so right now why we need this value because we have to find out a PT we need to find out PT PT means percentage of steel so let's check how we find out PT from the IS code Indian standard IS code 56 2000 or SP60 Okay, SP60. We need SP60. From the SP60, we can find out PT percentage of steel. So from the SP60 table number, page number one one eight. So page number one. Compression member original star compression member so for the design of compression member we have to follow this is code here is a compression member short column we have to find it one table here compression with bending compression with bending So first point is in the column we have a three value and first we are going to design a column at two side at two side so first value is d dash 0.50 and fy 415 let's check the table here here is a fy is 250 so this table is not useful same here fy 250 here is also fy 250 fy here is a fy 415 okay so we can use this table but here look at here d dash by capital d ratio d dash by capital d ratio is 0 0.05 and what we have 50. This table is not used. Same here. D dash is 0.10. And here we got D dash 0.50 FY415. And equally reinforcement distribution equally on two sides. So we can use this table. Chart number 33. chart we have mu mu and pu fck 
ओके सो दिस अवर कॉलम डिजाइन कंप्लीटेड नाउ अ सी ए लेटरल टाइ एंड पीच यू कैन डिजाइन इज इट्स द सेम एज वी डिजाइन इन द अर्लियर लेक्चर्स सो राइट नाउ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ सम क्रॉस सेक्शन सो फॉर द क्रॉस सेक्शन Here is a column, top view. Now here is a letter ties. Here is the letter ties, and now main reinforcement. Two side. We provide a two side here. So one, two, three, and four. These four columns are compulsory, and we have what you provide two side equally. Means we provided here two sides equally. So value is now length is capital D is four hundred mm. Small b. Three hundred mm, sixty mm cover, same here, sixty mm cover. Right now provided six numbers of bar at twenty five mm dia. Six numbers of bar at twenty five mm dia. so our design is completed for the equally on two side now we starting a design page number 6 on reinforcement at all four sides at all four sides So on the four side, we need to all the value means F y is four one five newton per mm square d s by capital D is point fifty p u by F c k b d b capital D is point three six seven m u By F C K, B D square is point one twenty five. So we need all these four values. Here. So all these four values here. So right now we have to follow one more cow, one more chart. Let's check. Um, where is here? So right now, let's. Uh, so we can follow this chart here, but in this chart we have a reinforcement distribution equally on two sides, but we need a four side. Here is a two side, two side here. It's come four side, but F Y is, but F Y is two fifty. So it is starting to follow. F Y is four one five, but D dash this value is point fifty. So we need a point fifty. So here is a four sides F Y four one five D dash by D point fifty. So by this chart, zero point thirty six means in the center. Zero point thirty six, and here is a value is point one twenty five. So value in between point. So P by P F C K value is point one one five. So our value in between this point ten and point twelve. So our value is P by F C K value is. 
0.115 so right now we can find out p 0.115 into 20 so pt value is 2.875 percentage 2.875 percentage so by this pt value we can find out ASC ASC is 2.875 divided by 100 into 300 into 400 so ASC is 3450 mm square okay so in this chart in this diagram we can provide 8 numbers of bar at 25 mm dia 25 mm dia so our design is completed for the all four side so right now page number 7 so for the page number 7 we have to draw a graph sorry or the cross section here okay and we have a reinforcement on all four sides how much one two three four first second third and fourth we have a eight reinforcement but we can provide a letter dies like this okay same design same design is here capital D is 400 small d is 300 and provide 8 numbers of bar at 25 mm dia bar so a design is completed means our example is finished now we starting a next chapter this is short column subjected to axial load and biaxial load axial load and biaxial load so biaxial load bending example we will learn in the next lecture okay so we will meet soon as soon as possible and learn biaxial bending so goodbye